often say in the stroke world that time is a brain. The longer that a person's brain goes without blood and oxygen, the more likely that part of the brain is to die. Before a patient even arrives at Barnes Jewish Hospital with signs of a stroke from a blood clot, the specialized stroke team has been activated and Washington University physicians are ready. There's a small window where clot-busting medication can be given, and every second counts. Everything is done in a very rapid and almost seamless fashion in order to get that drug administered as soon as possible. We have excellent what we call door-to-needle times, offering clot-busting medications as soon as humanly possible. When Travis Hanna suffered a stroke, he and his wife, Carolyn, experienced the benefits of going to a primary stroke center like Barnes Jewish. As soon as we got into the emergency department, that stroke team just kind of descended upon him and there was no hesitation. We were so grateful we were in a hospital that knew immediately what to do. Let's take a few steps. Washington University physicians are researching ways to stop relying solely on the clock. Dr. Jin Mu Lee wants to individualize stroke care and is using MR OMI technology to try to identify which patients have brain tissue that can be saved with clot busting drugs. MR OMI has the potential to really change the way we treat stroke. It will allow us to determine which are the best candidates for treatment and also increase the number of patients who have a good outcome. Look at him. What we hope with all of our stroke patients is they're ultimately able to go back to their regular lives.